I am Sophie Sterling. Welcome to my farm located in Southeast Clarendon, Rocky Point to be exact. So today we have these beautiful pigs right here. This one had baby the 1st of July. These are some of the babies. This one right here is pregnant. I'm not sure when she's going to have baby as yet. This one is pregnant also. She's a Durak and he's an F1. A terrible boy too. Let me mess up in here. So. And this is two sisters. Welcome once again to Good News Jamaica where we search across the island to find hidden gems. Today we have with us the wonderful Sophia Sterling. Sophia, how are you going? Good day, Aina. Ah, uh, cool, oh, cool. So, um, just, just give us a brief introduction as to who Sophia Sterling is. Well, Sophia Sterling is a girl from Clarendon, born to a Jamaican mom and a Nicaraguan dad. Aspiring author, journalist mm -hmm. and speaker, but currently I'm doing farming. Interesting. That's a, my passion. That's an awesome catalog right there. So. Alright, so let's just ask you because I see in your farming at Tyna, so what exactly got you into farming? You know I did it in high school and I said the subjects ain't going nowhere, so I guess I just start something. Just so. just do what you know for the Yes. So um so what exactly do you farm? Pigs. Pigs? And crop, but no crop is available now. I'm thinking about goats and chicken also. So basically, I'm saying you can live off away, off away you grow. Yes, try to invest properly. Which is right. Um, From the backyard to the kitchen. To the kitchen and the plate. Yes. <laughs> like for me, I always thought about farming, but you really have to have patience, right? Yes. And like you mentioned, I'm saying you help to raise um, pigs. So yes. what's the process like in raising pigs? It's not hard enough. As a mentor, I have a fan, so teach me some things. Okay. The here and the there is so. So, so from conception. So when so when the the piglets are are produced, um, what is the process from there on out? Okay, when they are three to five days, I clip their teeth and their tail. We give them iron. We can also give them vitamins. Okay. Also. Okay. Yes. And then um, how long is the process um, leading up to when you actually prep them to be slaughtered, to be sent to the market and such? At times, after six weeks, you either grow them or you can sell them. But six after months, six weeks? Six months there about, mm. you can prepare them for slaughtering or for market. Okay, so, so generally, before you sell them, you generally keep them for six weeks? To, to, no, six months. Six months before slaughter? Okay, cool. They normally weigh from like a hundred pound up. A hundred pound pig. <laughs> I'll two twenty and they're about. Listen to me, if you see a pig like that, Mary, you know. Why? Alfonso <laughs> killed one was about two sixty or something. Two hundred and sixty pounds. Yes. I think we weigh about one ninety to two hundred. So imagine me a son next to a two hundred and sixty pound pig. Catch a ball to wayside. Okay. Big. Okay, that's very interesting. Um, so. The mystery question is, do you eat pig? Yes, I do. Okay, so you eat them and you grow them. Yes. All right, awesome sauce, awesome sauce. Um, what would you say to, to persons actually looking to get into farming? It's not easy. And you will get a lot of discouragement. Okay. As a female, they will say, oh, you're too nice to do farming. I'm like, really? <laughs> it's just another career as any other. Exactly. Being a doctor or a lawyer. And it's or a needed. Teacher. And it's, it's needed. needed. And a, these times. And that goes with life. Like, there's, there, there always has to be a balance. I'm saying we need the teachers, we need the garbage men yes. who, who must need the farmers because we have to eat, exactly. right? But um, it's, not, it's not a common thing to see a woman as a farmer, though. So I'll definitely commend you on that. Thank you. As a matter of fact, I can probably teach me a few tips here and there because I don't know nothing about farming. <laughs> I will. All right, so, um, so you mentioned that outside of pigs, um, you also do crops. Like what kind of crops? Tomatoes, cucumbers, pumpkin, okra, sweet pepper. Yes. 
And outside of pigs, um, what other animals um, do you help to rear or do you rear? Just pigs for now. Just pigs for now. Okay, cool. But uh, my mentor have goats, so you know a little about them also. All right, so you mentioned um, goats also. So my question to you is, right, like I oftentimes sit in my room the street, and you know, so how them actually find their way back home? I guess they're sensible as us. They know when to come home, when to leave, when to come for lunch, and when to go back. Because they normally come for what in the afternoon, leave <laughs> back, and then come back in the evening. Well, you know, so sometimes they don't know when to go back home. So that means that they're smarter than me. <laughs> no, well, um, that that's very that's very awesome what you're actually doing. And like I stated before, um, to see a young lady doing such a thing as far as farming is very commendable. And um, I'm sure a lot more persons out there would want to get into such. So um, seeing you doing it, it can definitely be used as a stepping stone for them to do the same. Um, I want to ask you this, right? What is a one or two gem you, you would probably want to impart on those that want to get into it? Well, they should never procrastinate. Very important. Procrastinating and doubting yourself, wondering what others would say. Why oh, she turned farmer? Mm -hmm. She's so nice. She can go do modeling or all of that stuff. But if you I mean, have a passion if for If that's not your passion. You just on. do it. All right. So you also mentioned that you're into writing. Yes, I am. So, um, how is that coming along? Not so bad, not so good. And why is that? Because I was supposed to meet um, a publisher from how long now. And I keep procrastinating about that See? also. See? Alright, so you just said uh, your, your gem was enough. Stop procrastinating. Yes. So, I guess what you need to listen to your own, of your own advice. Yep. So, so, it's just a matter of you going out and getting yourself published. Yes. That's it? Alright, so we we'll definitely work on that aspect of things um but um i definitely definitely want to thank you for actually taking the time out to come and share with us right mm -hmm. however before we do go um what are some of the drawbacks you have as far as progressing into farming that you that you might need assistance with to get to where you need to get to in regards to farming like the land no it need fencing okay there's a part that needs some fencing mm -hmm. and i would like to start a whole cub also okay some layers and some white foam as they call it okay yes so it's just getting the fencing that's needed and get in the layers and and when it comes to the chicken like how long is that process for you to actually get the chicks and get them to where they need to be to where you can six um, weeks six weeks so the plan was if i have or uh, i think of getting a hundred i'll get 20 this week 22 weeks after 20 the other week so in the three week process right there mm -hmm. the first set would be ready okay be slaughtered then the next Okay, and at the same time, each 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 pair are are chick. So you, know, you can't tell me no number of farming, right? So they will basically be able to reproduce and make more along the way. No, those ones are for killing. The oh. layers now are for the eggs. Okay, yes. see, see, so I teach me along the way now, so I definitely appreciate that. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So um, we'll definitely we'll definitely keep in touch, and and see how best we can assist to to get you the the highlight that you need to get you to where you need to be all right okay then hopefully next time i will have some goats and you guys i'll make sure you have some fruits too you know some cute some cucumber and mm -hmm. some tomato Cookies. and them yeah man so we can carry home some food and cook and things we can't carry on the pig today no. all right cool <laughs> all right sophia thank you very much for coming and sharing really appreciate you taking the time out to do so from your hard day's work all right guys thank you for tuning in once more to hidden gems please check us out like share subscribe and comment Thank you for checking us out on Good News Jamaica TV for content that informs, inspires, and transforms. Please like, share, leave a comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more positive Jamaica content. What good?